basketball you betcha i'm back in the building once again and it's on yeah 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 it's on it's time to get back in the gym to give you what you need guaranteed to succeed let's go let's get started in the gym we are going to do what we were doing at the beginning of the week and we are going to go straight into attack mode straight straight to the elbow crossover go finish that layup we're going to do that five times then we're going to go straight to the elbow we're going to go through the legs and then we're going to finish that layup and then if you're really feeling yourself we're going to go behind the back and finish that five times each okay on both sides of the floor all right and then what i want you to do is i want you to work the attack from the top so then we're going to attack from the top we're going to work our crossover dribble work our hesitation we're also going to work our a move at the top and then that like isaiah thomas hesitation boom turn and go where you're protecting the ball and kind of throwing off that timing of the defender and then we're going on that and then we're also going to work our through the legs one more time and then our in and out going to the basket on both sides of the floor all right and all on all those five times so we're going to be working Okay, but we're working on attacking the basket. So that's that's the key here. That's what I want you to understand. Also, what I need you to understand is you need to be in shape. You can't keep working out at your pace. You need to be in shape. That's right. Put it on the screen. You need to be in shape. All right. That's it. There's no excuse of why you shouldn't be or you can't be, all right? And that is going to be key. So for that, we are going to run a liner, okay? After we run a liner, we're going to run a 17, all right? You're gonna have the basketball in your hand on the 17 and you're not gonna have a basketball on the liner, all right? When you're running the 17, make sure you dribble with your weak hand so you know what to do when it's time to be pressured with that weak hand, you're gonna have plenty of practice while being tired dribbling that basketball, all right? Then what I want is I want us to then go into our slide drill. Yes, we're gonna go in the key defensive slides. After we do in the key defensive slides, we are then going to do rebounding drill. Okay, then after the rebounding drill, you're gonna shoot free throws. So it's all over the place right now in this workout, but that's that's the game. The game is all over the place. So I don't expect it to always be, we're gonna do dribbling, we're gonna do shooting, we're gonna do defense, or we're gonna do conditioning, or we're gonna do a warm up. It needs to be sporadic sometimes, but make sure you know what you're doing. And then remember, in the rebounding, we're gonna go five times on the rebounding. We're gonna get it, we're gonna rebound it and finish, okay? All right, that's what we're doing. And so now, you're gonna make those five free throws and then we're gonna get into the next thing. Basketball you, I do appreciate you coming to me at the end of the week and getting it in. Nothing better than that. Now, what I wanna go into is our floaters. Okay, we're gonna go into our floaters. We're going to make three off the glass, three with no glass. We're gonna go right side, we're gonna go middle and then we're gonna go on the left side. Just three today. If you want to practice your left hand on the left side, be my guest, but you do not have to. And then what we're going to work is our three cone level shooting. Okay. So we're going to get into our dribble move where we're pulling up. Okay. And then we're going to shoot the three. So we got the mid range first. Then we're going to shoot the three. Then we're going to go to the middle, do the same thing, go to the left side, do the same thing. Then we're going to cross over into that cone and we're going to shoot shots there. Um, on all the sides. You're only going through each cone and making two shots each because this drill can end up being a long time if I say five each spot and you're not making shots. So I want you just to make two at each spot. Make sure you hit every cone, even with the crossover, um, when going from the three-point line to the secondary line and shooting the mid-range. So we're just making two at each spot, all right? That drill is gonna take a while, so I want you to do that one as well. And then what I want you to get into is around the world, okay? Shooting around the world. This time we're gonna go three swishes. So everything's gonna be a swish, not in a row, just three swishes. You're only going around once, 
Okay, so you're not going around and coming back around, just going around one time. All right, and then we're gonna go to the free throw line and we are gonna shoot free throws again. All right, when I want you to make five free throws here, just focus on trying to make five in a row, but if you can't, no worries. It's okay with me. Basketball, you here at the end of the week. I love it. It's all about effort, baby. It's all about effort. Okay, so now what else can we do? We can go full court. So we're going full court, full blast. Okay, we're pushing that rock. Okay, we're gonna go with our right hand or our left hand, left hand to our right hand. Then we're gonna finish the layup. Okay, you're gonna go full speed, full speed. So I want you to get as much speed as you can, get down the court as quick as you can, but I want the ball to be controlled. And then we're gonna go finish our layup, okay? We're gonna do this on both sides of the floor. Let me get three of these with the made layup. If you miss the layup, you will do it again until you make three, all right? Then we're gonna go zigzag dribble, okay? We got our crossover first, then we got our through the legs, and then we will be going behind the back, all right? So that is what we are doing to work on some more ball handling going north and south, okay? Not so much east and west, or just being stationary. So we wanna make sure we're pushing that ball up the floor hard, being able to alternate hands with control. Then we're gonna go up and down the court, a little bit east, then boom, try to go north. A Little bit west, then try to go north, okay? So that's what we're trying to do here to get us a little bit better with imitating the pressure of someone being on us, even though no one is on us. Because a minute, again, it's so hard to train by ourselves with no one guarding us. Like we feel we get, we're getting so much better and then we get in the game and then somebody guards us and we lose the ball right away. So again, do it with full progression, full effort, and just do your best. That's all we can ask for here at Basketball U. All right, then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to Put that basketball down for just a minute. We're going to get back in the key. We're going to do our defensive slides again. Then we're going to sprint, turn, and sprint. Okay, so we're going to turn with the slide. Then we're going to turn and sprint again. So sprint, turn, slide, boom, then turn again. All right, we're going to do that five times. All right, so it's one going to one side, two going to the other side, three going to the other side, four going to the other side, five. Okay, so it's not one, then two then three, it's only one sideline at a time. Then lastly, what I would like is for us to dribble around the perimeter. Then I want us a defensive slide around the perimeter. Then I want us to run around the perimeter. So you're gonna do it three different trials, three different times. That's gonna be our conditioning for today. And then if you wanna finish up with shooting, the shooting that I recommend that you do is baseline to baseline and wing to wing today. All right, so you shoot it on the baseline, you get your own rebound, you go to the other baseline, you shoot it, you go to the wing, and I wanna make four each spot. So you can go baseline to baseline, make four, and then you go wing to wing four, or you can mix it up and go baseline to baseline, wing to wing, and then just make eight total. Like if you wanna mix up kind of the, the spots that you're shooting at. So I'll let you do it in the dynamic that you wanna do it in, Today, I'll give you the choice, and then we always have to make sure we go to the free throw line. That is the most important place to get an easy bucket other than a layup, okay? So I want you to make 10. I want you to make eight out of 10, but then I also want you to make 10 free throws total, okay? 80% is the goal. Basketball you again, I can't thank you enough for stepping into the training session today. We always are going to give you some new stuff, always mixed with some old stuff as well. Can't give you all new stuff and then forget about the old stuff. So we'll slowly kick out the old stuff and slowly put in the new stuff. Basketball you, I appreciate you, but I need you to know this. Remember, someone's always working. Are you?